All right, we're here with head coach Marty Hoffman. Coach, uh, Cougs take on Westminster at Big Cat Stadium on Saturday at noon. Um, but before that, let's recap the Northwestern game. Yeah, it was a, a hard, you know, hard fought game. Both sides, obviously, well played. Um, you know, it was one that uh, um, we kind of knew would be a battle, and, and, and really was. Uh, everything was built up to be, I guess. And you know, I was really proud of the kids' effort. Thought they, um, you know, really gave everything that they had, left it all out there on the field for uh, for us. It, it was just unfortunate we weren't at the right end of the uh, uh, win loss column. You know, and. We just kind of continue to see some growth within our team, and that's the exciting part is that we just kind of continue to uh, get better and better each week, it seems like. And, um, you know, with a game like that, you know, we talked a lot um, post game about we just, you know, we can't, we kind of live defensively on, on taking the ball away. We, we didn't get any. And then offensively, you know, we turned it over three times and we had a, a, a very crucial uh, fumble on a pump return. So, um, you know, those types of things, we, we, we just got to continue to try to eliminate. And, and we got to be better in the red zone, of course, two of five. Uh, we got to be better defensively in the red zone. I think there were four of four. So, I mean, it's just all those things kind of add up. And um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, our, our effort isn't, uh, isn't enough right now. We got to execute. And, um, you know, certainly looking forward to uh, uh, trying to be 1 0 this week. Now, what do you see from uh, Drew Shipley at quarterback this past week? Well, Drew gave us some things, um, you know, just with his, his ability, sensibility, just in the pocket. Um, you know, he seems to have good pocket presence for a guy that's, you know, hasn't played quarterback since high school. Um, you know, he he really showed us some things that, you know, I I, I can anticipate from him. He's a guy that, uh, you know, you, you put him anywhere in, in any type of game situation, he competes and he's a competitor. That's really what he is, and so. You know, whether he's at linebacker for us for the past couple of years or, you know, now at quarterback, um, you know, he's, he's going to compete his tail off. He's going to prepare his tail off. You know, it's one thing that, um, you know, Drew's always down in the office now with our, with Coach Johnson, just trying to continue to learn more and more about the offense. And so, um, you know, I expect for him to continue to grow in that area. And, uh, you know, I think we'll uh, continue to see him um, um, progress. But it's been... You know, the, his ability to throw the ball down the field, I think, was real evident. And, and I think that's a, a weapon that, um, you know, our offense now possesses with him back there is that we can stretch the field a little bit. And then staying on the offensive side of the ball, what do you see from Mark Chapman at wide receiver? Well, he was the guy that stretched the field. And, um, you know, we were able to get some big plays and big yardage plays, explosive plays, which, you know, we've kind of struggled here uh, offensively to just kind of be consistent and, and really have those plays. And so, um, you know, that does gives, give us another element. You know, I think as we look to uh, continue to advance our running attack, um, being able to have that threat to stretch the ball vertically will start to pull some of those guys out of the box, and it gives us that ability to, you know, hopefully run the football more. And, uh, you know, even that said, I mean, we're 73 yards, but I, I really liked what I started to see from our offensive line. Um, we are able to kind of get five or six yards, four yards a pop, and, and that's, you know, those are successful runs. We just got to continue to uh, grow that element of it and, um, you know, like I said, not turn the ball over. And then we're talking on Thursday afternoon. What's kind of been the theme of practice for this week? You know, re really just continue to improve in some areas. Uh, red zone, uh, both offensively and defensively, has kind of been a, a focus for us this week. Um, you know, continue to, um, you know, get our guys uh, uh, to, to really buy into um, this 1-0 mentality that, that we always try to have and, and just continue to realize that we got to learn from mistakes from last week and then obviously we got to move on because this is a whole new week. And, you know, we're kind of running out of these opportunities, getting our guys to understand that and, and, and realize that, uh, you know, our, our growth throughout the year has been good. But at some point, we got to start to, you know, put together a, a complete game. And, you know, I think once we do that, we'll start to see, you know, some of these close scores now that we've had these past two weeks. Uh, we'll start to see ourselves on the other end uh, of those scores. And, you know, and that's, that's obviously where, where we need to be. Um, you know, right now it's not good enough, and, and I'm obviously responsible for that. And we'll get it fixed, and we'll continue to uh, uh, work these guys and, and continue working recruiting, of course. And, um, you know, certainly this week will be a, a good test with Westminster. And what are the keys to the game for the Cougs this weekend? Well, you know, I think it's an offense from, from just, I guess, the defense standpoint first. You know, it's an offense that really, um, you know, spreads the ball out. Um, you know, you got some good wide receivers. I got a talented quarterback who's – pretty mobile in the pocket. They're a zone read concept in terms of the run game. Uh, very zone heavy, big up front, um, you know, but they, they like to throw the ball a little bit. And so, you know, we, we got to defend the deep ball. Um, you know, just like we talked offensively, we certainly want to have some deep balls down the field. We got to prevent that 
uh, from their offense and, and really got to try to make them one dimensional. I think if we can um, you know, establish more of a physical presence up front, um, you know, be very gap sound, but at the same time then take away that deep ball, uh, we should be in business. And, and along with that, you know, much like we didn't do last week, we got to be good on third downs. And we weren't that well, we weren't that good on third downs last week as a defense. And then, you know, just from an offensive standpoint, you know, it's just continue to, uh, we, we kind of saw, I think, flashes of, of what we can make this offense be able to be. And, you know, we had over almost 500 yards of offense last week. Well, you know, that's great, but we got we to gotta finish in the red zone. And, and we got to execute down inside the goal line and down inside the uh, uh, 20. And, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get that done this week because I think that will be crucial, you know, as we look to hopefully kind of control more of the tempo of the game and um, obviously make special teams a factor as well. Um, you know, we got some – hopefully we can make that more impactful um, as well. All right, we're here with senior linebacker Brady Jurgensen. Uh, Brady, Coos take on Westminster at noon on Saturday at Big Cat Stadium. But before that, kind of, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Um, you know, it's it's been a long one. We uh, haven't maybe got out to the best start record-wise, but we've definitely seen some growth through our players, especially the young guys this year. Uh, and we're coming together pretty well. It's been going good. Can you talk about that growth? How has the team uh, grown since uh, camp? Uh, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say, yeah, physical-wise on the field, but also um, off the field as well. There's a lot of teammate, team chemistry, which has been good, and it's exciting to see. And then uh, you're a hometown boy. What's it like playing for the Cougs, um, being from Morris? Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Nothing, I mean, it's nothing different, just like everybody else going out there. Um, got a little more family, maybe coming to the games. But, uh, yeah, I've been on the field since high school, that same field, and it's and then new. And then uh, what's your favorite memory of uh, playing football so far? Uh, well, I think I'm known for teaching Coach Hoffman uh, some pretty creative dance moves, so like the whip or uh, – yeah, I don't even, I don't know, some of the other ones, a little bit of this action, we taught them, so that's good. How did that come about? Uh, it's all viral, it's all videos. And then um, what? Uh, what's your major and your plans after Morris? Uh, my major is elementary education, and I plan to uh, maybe leave, stay around Morris a little bit, but get out of town, and Alexandria is hopefully open. And then lastly, what are you looking forward to from the Cougs in these uh, final stretch of games? Uh, I'm just looking to be competitive and just start early. We got to go off the gate early and set the tone and see what happens.